Hi, I'm John Larson, technical trainer for surface and exploration drilling with EpiRock. Today we're going to be talking about component location on a PowerRock T45. Here we have our diesel engine fuel tank, our hydraulic oil tank with sight glass and temperature gauge, our DEF tank, the diesel exhaust fluid. Here's our compressor air filter assembly with an internal and external element. Here's our engine air filter assembly with an internal and an external element. Here's our fuel filter, fuel water separator, our compressor. Here's the hydraulic oil filling hand pump, compressor oil filter, compressor separator tank with sight gauge and fill. And here we have our water mist adjustment for water injection while drilling. Up here we have our pressure regulator for the compressor system with gauge. Here we are at the rear of the machine with our water mist tank, rear mirror, our rear view camera, the cooling fan, rear light assembly, and inside this cabinet we have our ECL oil tank, our ECL oil regulator, our dust collector purge regulator, an air hose and an air wand inside here for cleaning out the cooling assembly. Here we are on the non-cabin side of the machine where we have several things. At the rear of the machine, we have our dust collector assembly with filters, filter removal tool. We have our electrical box assembly inside here with e-stop and impact hour meter. Inside this cabinet, we have our PLC, which controls a rod handling system, a circuit board, which controls a dust collecting purge, the ECL timer, relays for the DEF fluid system, and a small fuse panel. Here we have our main pumps, pumps one, two, and three. Four and five are located on the PTO side of the engine. We have our relief valve block assembly, one through six. Dampener relief assembly, tramming relief assembly as well. Here we have our damper flow divider, our cop logic system, our certique. Here's the uh, condenser assembly for the air conditioning. We have our rotation control valve, our percussion control valve, our percussion remote cancel, our ASD unit, which controls rotation, impact, and several other things. We have our feed control valve, which controls our threading and unthreading while changing rods, and our feed speed control, which changes the feed speed and rate of feed per minute. Inside here, we have a relay box with relays controlling a whole bunch of stuff on this machine, including timers and whatnot. We also have a fuse panel inside there. Please see the schematics for details on what those relays control. Coming over here, we have our central lubrication system which feeds and supplies lubrication to points all over the machine. We have our rod greasing canister with pump attached to the top. Here we have our track tension assembly cover. So we're gonna remove this cover, open it up, and there'll be a grease zerk inside to tension the tracks on the Power Rock T45. Here we are towards the feed assembly and boom assembly. We have our boom bulkhead our feed dump cylinder, and our feed bulkhead. Coming onto the feed, we have our drifter assembly, which is an SC25 HE drifter. We have our hose reel assembly mounting cradle with grease cirques and timing sprockets installed, as well as the hose reel assembly itself with roller bearings. Inside here, we have proximity switches, which handle our 3D depth counting system for the rig. We have our feed motor assembly. We have our electrical assembly 
for the proximity sensors on the 3D hold depth system. Our feed stop valve. Moving on to the rod handling system, we have our hard grip clamp up top, our rod transfer arms, the carousel assembly, and a valve block inside here which controls all the rod handling system, the dust hood, and the centralizers. Here we have our pre-separator assembly. Note the clamps installed on the dust collector hose. We have our rod thread greaser, which is air actuated. Here we have our dust pot assembly and the rod gasket. Here we have our centralizer assembly. Here we have our emergency safety wire with the resettable button installed. For further information on component locations, refer to the maintenance manual supplied by EpiRock. If you need further assistance from these videos, please go to the website epiroc.us. That's E P I R O C. US, or make note of our toll-free 1-844-437-4262, or contact your local service center that's by EpiRock or your dealer.